Hi everybody, it's Tamara from Prairie Town Girl here on Etc. Eyes, and today I'm going to show you how to make 24 tags um, super duper fast. Um, and basically you'll have these foundations that you can use um, and have them on hand and then just decorate to suit any journal that you might have. So I get these um, coupons in the mail every once in a while. In fact, I think I just got another set yesterday. <laughs> but I don't, I generally don't eat this kind of food. Um, so these coupons are useless to me. So um, I'm going to use these. And what's nice is that the pages are already perforated. Um, so what I've done first is I, um, I painted one side and we're going to do sort of a, a basic decoration on this side and then we'll just back it and then you'll be done. Um, I'm going to get something to put under my under my uh, work so I don't mess up my table. I got this great pack of eight different um, pigment inks from Michael's the other day, well just yesterday, and it was on sale for $4.97. It's in the hot buy section. They're normally $12. So um, I thought that was a great deal. They had this selection of sort of uh, earthy colors and then there was some pastels and then like some glitter ones I think, but I thought these would be the most useful for me. So I want to try out these this, this ink and I did a little test and this blue, this teal blue is pretty gorgeous. So um, let's play with that a little bit. And I did, I also got this new stencil because my favorite stencil is on its last legs <laughs> so I thought I deserved a new stencil. <laughs> and it was uh, less than five dollars and I even got a uh, 30% coupon off of this. So, Anyways, we're going to use any stencil you have and you don't have to use stencils, you can use stamps, um, whatever you want. So I'm just going to put it down and I don't have eight new dabbers so I'm just using makeup sponges and they work just as well, especially with a nice brand new pad. And we're just going to dab. We're going to stencil. Now the fun thing with stenciling is that you don't have to have the same um, intensity of color throughout. You can vary. You can move the design so that it's off the page a little bit. Um, just have fun with it. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just going to move the stencil around and fill up my whole page. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so I've cleaned off my stencil and I even did a second, the other set, the other page in a different color. And this one I ran the stencil up and down just for something a little different. So we still need to deal with this side, of course, but uh, before I do that, I think what I'm gonna do is just sort of give the page a little fold on all those pre-perforated fold lines, just to make life a little bit easier for me when I need to separate them all. I don't want to separate them yet. What I'm going to do is just take um, some backing paper. I always like my tags to have at least one side that's plain so that you can use it for journaling or whatever. Um, they're beautiful when both sides are done, but then, I mean, to me, they're kind of useless at that point, other than to look at, <laughs> which is nice, but I 
like things to be a little bit more practical. Um, so lots of glue everywhere because don't forget we're going to be cutting these up. So you want to make sure all the edges are covered. And then just lay down your backing paper. You can get your brayer out if you want, but I think this is pretty pretty easy to just smooth out with your hands. And I'm just going to take this piece that's the edge and I'm going to stick that over here. And then I just need to trim this off and do the same thing on the other one. Okay, so I got my backing on both, and um, now I could possibly just tear this, but I'm not going to chance it. So I, um, but I can see my nice folds, and that should make it really easy to just cut through. So the really nice thing about this is I don't have to measure anything. <laughs> <laughs> and all my tags will be fairly similar in size. So there's my first set. things you can do with this. You can either just, um, you know, pop a little hole at the top and call it a tag and you're done. Or you can add the little corners, which we will do maybe just on this set here. And I've got a little template that I use when I'm making tags. like this so then you just pop a hole up there and then you've got a nice little tag and look at that you could leave that just like that I think that's really pretty or you can add something to it to really finish it off like maybe a butterfly <laughs> Let's see something you know something simple like that um, you can ink up the edges, you could add some lace, you can do whatever you want, but you've got a whole um, batch of bases that you can personalize to your journal. You just might want to wait until your ink is dry <laughs> before you start playing with them. <laughs> um, but it's that simple. So I hope that gives you some ideas and um, a way to use up some of that junk mail so that you don't go eat that junk food. <laughs> this is a much better use for your junk food coupons, I think. Um, so I will do up a few and I will show them in a couple of seconds here. Um, but I hope that you have fun with that and I will see you all again very soon. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for coming by. Bye-bye.